the metallic fibers on. Alright. So. That sun glare killing it, but you see anything new? See anything new? Alright, so I blacked out the centerpiece in here because I'm not running no horn button or cover. So that's blacked out. Spray paint, that's easy. But what? The logo is gone. So if you own or thinking on buying a D, D carbon fiber wheel like this with the leather whether you have the old style that doesn't have the red leather piece up top or purple or gray whatever color you want to get it in and they all come with the D, &D logo right here now me how i am personally i don't care for logos on you know obviously i did a logo delete on my own car there's barely any emblems or whatever that says that this car is a ford you know the model whatever you know the sub model none of that shit you know on how to remove the D, D logo on the wheel because think about it look how clean it looks without that little white three letters so i looked everywhere nobody had a real answer but somebody did suggest taking a heat gun so i'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all how to remove it if you plan on getting one and you want to do it if you have a friend or whatever this is just how to logo delete this shit so what you want to do is get a heat gun you want to hit it for about i would say a minimum of like maybe five minutes at you know uh one to two inches away and you want to just like move it from side to side don't just like hold it there move it from side to side um and then get either a razor if you're good you know if you could trust yourself with a razor up against this carbon fiber or if you got nails you can just pick it off and it's just going to flake off. Make sure you clean it all up. It all, you know, make sure there's no white, no letters, no nothing. Then it's going to leave this blank spot because like I said, it was like indented in, like, like stamped into the carbon fiber. It's going to be nice and glossy carbon fiber. And then it's going to be dry, dull carbon fiber. My homie was like, yo, man, um, it may not work. He's like, but fuck it. You thought about nail polish? I was like, what? Yes. So this is what I went and bought. You get it from your local Walgreens. Now, the only reason why I had gotten it was because right down here, it says gel like color and shine. So honestly, it was like 10 bucks. It was 10 bucks for only two second job, which a part of me wants to put another piece on, another layer on. I don't know. But boom. So this is really all you need. You need a heat gun. Go to the store, Walgreens, Walmart, CVS, wherever. Get, you know, nail polish. That's, you know, make sure it's, you know, glossy. The gloss and color shine or whatever. Because obviously you need to match the rest of the carbon fiber. That's nice and done up. And boom, there you go. Just some boarding time on your hands. And it wasn't even that hard, to be honest. It was, you know, pretty fun. Yo. I just got the car. Well, I just got back. I'm about to work on the brakes, but just got back from the shop. I'm getting the audio done, and this shit slaps. I'm finna go ahead and give you a little quick snippet of how good this shit slap. Whatever. I know I'm gonna get copyright strike, but I don't give a fuck. Or maybe not. I might just mute the audio and uh go ahead. But she slaps now. We're back in business. But the real thing, we're gonna try to get these bitches out. Everything's gonna be brand fucking new. I'm gonna go ahead and catch y'all later. Yo. Figured I'd give an update on what's going on. So I got the car jacked up both sides. I had on the glow kit on the clip going bye bye. So, no lie, probably like an hour later, uh, finally getting um, the bracket bolts, the um, brake bracket bolts on loose because I decided to take apart my. Um, 
jack because I don't have a breaker bar and I need the pipe for extra leverage because this is what I'm working with. I literally have all my tools out so I'm literally doing everything I can possible. Um, I have a whole new caliber kit so I'm not really, I have new lines, new caliber kits, new rotors, new pads, all the whole nine so all of this shit is just garbage but I'm probably only going to get the front two done today. Seeing that it's about 2.30, I mean, I should be able to speed through this rest of it because then I still got to bleed the brakes. Um, depending on how I'm feeling, I might get to the rear today. If not, the front ones are the ones that are really important anyway, so. But this is my update. Catch y'all in a little bit. So, this is what we're working with. That's the old. That's the new. gonna be fun let's get it big ass fail the rotors don't even aren't the same they really aren't the same at all so I took all this shit apart for nothing so now I gotta try to hopefully put it back the only things that I know that is correct is the brake lines but I'm not gonna put them on because there's really no point so Oh, looks like we got a brake set for sale. I'm just gonna go for Brembo brakes. Uh, well, that's part of the life. Fuck it. Rest in peace, Kobe. Uh, Kobe's one here today. Moment of silence. Yep, the one year today of Kobe Bryant. So right now after that day with the brake job my brakes are they're not fucked up they're not shot but because i fucked up i never really fully bled the brake line all the airs in there so well i'm going to work but um after work i'm just gonna take it to shop around the corner that does brakes they're gonna quickly ble uh, bleed them and then uh, that's that news the wing is done my man's got it done at the body shop um but we're actually gonna put it together on the car because what i'm doing is 100 percent orthodox out of the box um thinking and you know really trying to be a, a one of one with shit trying to be you know i'm trying to stand stand out you know that's pretty much me that's how i am it's not like even for like a real reason or purpose it's just how i am i just I don't want to do what everybody else does. I want to be different. So, um, but uh, I started looking in because the brakes didn't fit. It was for the wrong. It's for a fucking Honda. I looked back at the email. I felt like a hundred percent of a of a dumbass. But hey, you live and you learn. It is what it is. Now I gotta try to fucking sell the kit somehow. The whole brake kit. Um, whether I do it piece by piece or the whole thing lump sum, it is what it is. But um, I started looking into just saying fuck it. I'm gonna end up doing the Brembos. But I found a way to get them for cheap. Uh, there's already like a couple videos um, on YouTube. Also, we be doing the, they call it the Franken brake upgrade in the rear, which means you get the bigger rotor by using uh, the Mazda bracket for the caliper and uh, shit like that. I would love to get a Brembo caliper in the rear instead, but um, I'll need to do more digging and research uh, for that shit to be possible. Um, but other than that, I mean, the only thing that I got out of my brake kit that actually works, that is, I know fits this car, is the brake lines, 100%. Um, everything else, gotta go. So, but other than that, man, that's all I really got. That's the only updates. So.